This video will show you how to upload images to Flickr. When you log into Flickr, you will see this is your home screen, and you'll have the opportunity to explore the user menu at the top. By clicking on you, you'll be taken to your personal home page. This is a display of all of the photos you've uploaded so far to Flickr, including any sets of photos that you've organized, photos that you have favorited, creations you've made, etc. To upload photos, you want to click on the upload button at the top. You'll have the option to drag and drop photos and videos from your computer or desktop, or you can use a more traditional uploader like this one. I'm going to upload some family photos of my just as an example, um, I have a couple photos of my grandfather and some of my great aunt. And I will choose to open these photos. And while these photos are uploading, while they're being processed, because they're very large files, I will go through and edit the titles and descriptions so that they are clear and easy to identify. You can alter the titles from what they are on your computer if you want a shorter title or a longer title or a more or less descriptive one. You can also add descriptions, for example, listing the people who appear in a photo, detailing where and when the photo was taken, any other stories behind the photos that you might have, including um, inscriptions that might appear on the front or back of the photos, um, important events that the photos commemorate, or um, even greater information about the people in the photos. As you go through and add this information, you also have the opportunity to add things like tags, which can be used to easily group photos into events, places, group them by people, etc. Um, you can also add people. You can add them by name or add them by email address, which allows them to be notified when you add photos of them to your account. You can also um, add them to groups if you're a member of a group. Perhaps your family has a group of Flickr, has a Flickr group in which you all contribute family photos. Um, or if you're part of a group that all travels and you share your travel photos this way, um, you can add them from this upload screen. As the photos upload, you will see them uh, appear. You will be able to preview the image. If you need to rotate any of the images, if they're supposed to be vertical and they're horizontal or something like that, um, you can do all of that sort of editing here. And as you add the information, you can um, select each photo to edit in the information individually, or you can select groups of them to add tags, people, or sets to multiple photos at a time. For these photos, I'm going to create a new set, which I can do from the screen or from my home page. I'm going to just very simply describe it. You can add more or less description if you feel it's necessary. And these are all family photos from my family, so I'm going to call those bright family photos. 
and I will create the set and add each photo to the set. You can also do this by selecting them all at the same time, but you can also decide who you want to be able to see these photos, whether you want them visible to everyone or visible to only certain people, maybe people you invite. And when you're done, you can you will need to hit the upload button to upload them to your photo stream. Once they're uploaded, you'll be able to view them individually and as part of your photo stream at your home page. You'll see your description. You'll be able to comment on it and share it from this page as well. You can also add tags, locations, groups, and edit the photo from here. You can also view your sets from this page. This is the set of family photos that I just uploaded. You can also add more photos to the set from this page. 